Good morning, everyone. Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. All is well here. Just got back from walking Mr. Hudson. We're just about back on track, Mr. Hudson and I. He was a little mad at me for being gone for three weeks. So we are almost speaking to each other again. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you've decided to join me today. Uh, we're going to be playing with a couple of very fun, quick projects uh, using some watercolor paper and some Distress inks and some Distress Oxide inks and a stencil and some acrylic paint. So very fun, very quick, very easy. The second one I did with a stencil, which was even more fun. So that's the project that I'm going to use in class this week. So. I'm very excited. It was very, very fun. Uh, I want to shout out a thank you to Michelle. Uh, she gave a lovely contribution to the village. Thank you so much. Uh, glad you're back. And Dina Dana, I got your package yesterday, but I haven't opened it yet. Um, I'm going to be opening that today so you'll see it or get a great big thank you uh, the next time I make a video. So I have some new uh, Patreon members, and I want to thank you all for joining me on Patreon. Uh, it is nearly time for some focal points to be sent out, and I will continue to send uh, photos and step-by-step -step instructions to you with an occasional uh, goodie. So there you have it. All right, see you on the table. So this is our fun project for today. Uh, probably inspired by the stencil street art that I saw in Melbourne, which was amazing. But aren't these fun? They didn't take very long to make, and they are just really, really fun. So, those are our projects for today. Uh, 10 by 10 sheet of watercolor. Uh, this one I used a stencil with the bricks on the back. This is a stencil of a spray paint can. I used Distress Inks and oxide, distress oxides, and some water, the stencil, and some acrylic paint. Bam. All right, let's play with a stencil today, shall we? Uh, I have a stencil. It's an 8x8, very simple, just a spray paint can, which I thought was kind of fun. I have some distress inks, just regular distress inks, and then I have two uh, oxide, distress oxides that were given to me. So I'm limited on my colors, but uh, squeezed lemonade and twisted citron. So that'll be fun to play with. I have my makeup sponge and some purple acrylic. This is a Tim Holtz blender with a blender um, piece of fabric on it. You can use a piece of felt and I have some water. So what we're gonna start off with first is just adding some fun color to this piece of, uh, this is a 10 by 10 piece of watercolor paper. And you just want to um, have the watercolor paper bigger than your stencil. So mine comes, gives it a nice little edge. So I'm just gonna add some color to the watercolor paper with my blender, which this is not anything that I normally do, so this is kind of fun. I, that was uh, Dusty Concord. This is Spiced Marmalade. I don't even bother to clean my little blending pad. I just go for it. And tumbled glass, bring some blue in. These are not, oh, blue and yellow makes what? Green, I meant bring some green in. These are not real intense colors. All right, now I am going to flip this over so that it's white again. 
And I'm going to bring in the Twisted Citron color. And I want this to be a little, little bit more intense than the first colors that I used because I'm hoping for a reaction with the water. That is my intention. And then I'm going to bring in the squeezed lemonade. And I'm just going to go over pretty much the whole piece now with the squeezed lemonade. Pretty magnificent already. I'm going to turn this back over to the other side. And I'm just going to add just a little bit more color where some of these splotches are. Right over that squeezed lemonade. Sticking with my original colors of the Spiced Marmalade, the Dusty Concord, and why not a little bit more of the Tumbled Glass, which we know comes out a gorgeous blue-green. Let's give this a whirl. All right, here, a little bit more color here. Now, I'm going to take the water and I'm gonna put some in my hand. And we're going to let that dry. I'm playing with the water a little bit. Okay, let it dry. So there's some gorgeous reconstituted spray ink on my work surface. So I'm not wanting to waste anything. I'm just going to pick some of that up with my finger that the water reconstituted and I'm just going to put it on that piece. Why not? All right, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It really is. So we're going to put... Is that how we want it? Yeah, I think we're just going to stick with it just like that. So we'll put that down where we want that. I'm going to put some purple paint on my workspace here. Take my makeup brush, grab a little bit of paint, and I'm just going to start creating that lovely little stencil here. And just take your makeup sponge and your acrylic, tube acrylic, and just daub it on until you get the whole stencil covered. Okay, and while I have this down here, I am going to just take it and stencil it around the edge a little bit. I see this is an Ed Roth stencil. 
There's a booklet of stencils that were given to me. We'll just go around the edge. Ta-da! How about that for a nice easy piece to do? So fun. All right, your turn. Go create. Go play. Go have fun. I just walked Hudson and I couldn't wait to get back here and do it again. But I'm going to put some gesso on the brick stencil. So I'm just taking my white gesso and my silicone brush and applying a very thin layer of gesso. And I'm going to dry it. Okay, I have the gessoed brick on here. Feels like it's about dry. I only have the two oxides, so I'm going to still use those again, the squeezed lemonade and the twisted citron. I'm going to stick with the spiced marmalade. I brought in mustard seed, and I love the uh, dusty Concord. So those are the colors that I'm going to be using. My blender, same blender pad that I used last time. This is the, uh, the oxide side. This is the just the Distress Ink side. And just like last time, I'm just going to add some color. I'm going to try to go with a little bit more color. My watercolor paper is 10 by 10. I'm going to stick with the same stencil. Spiced marmalade now. Add some color. Bring in the mustard seed. My inks are so well used. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. I'm going to go back to the purple. Okay, now we're going to bring in the Twisted Citron, go back to that side of our blending pad. And then our squeezed lemonade. This is gorgeous. Alright, I think we've got everything pretty much covered with an oxide. If not, that's okay. Now last time I like dumped a half gallon of water on it. That was not my intention. <laughs> Let's see if we can be a little bit more careful this time.
because they really just want to splatter it. There we go. So much better. Oh, beautiful. Can you see this oxide already starting to work? So fun. All right. When you feel like you've splattered enough, let it dry. All right, I think that's about dry. I'm going to bring in a fine sandpaper and just go over those bricks a little bit. Bring them up. Yep, that's gorgeous. All right, I'm going to bring my stencil in. See if I can center it a little bit better than last time. We shall see. Not my forte at all. And I'm trying to decide if I want the purple again or black. I think we're going to go with the black. So I'm going to grab the same makeup brush or makeup sponge that I used last time. The black reminds me of street art just a little bit more than the purple does, so we'll see what happens. And I'm just going to go around the stencil with the black paint, just like we did with the purple paint. Alright, I've gone through the stencil, now I'm going to go around the edges, give it a bit of a frame. And as you can well imagine, it's important to hold your stencil still. All right, ready for the unveiling? Let's do it. Oh, isn't that fun? <laughs> yep, I like it. That so they are both fun. There's the purple one. There's the black one. This has bricks. All right, your turn. Go play with some street art. Go create. Go play. Go have fun.